Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the standard error and make that reflect on the error bars in your graphs for some of my proteomic data. So first I'm going to calculate the standard deviation using the standard deviation formula in Excel. And then I'm going to select that treatment group, that's the 121, or a control tank. And then I'm just going to copy this formula down. <coughs> and then make sure that the, the blue selection box is on the right treatment. So and then we're on hypoxia, which is 122 on the sample number. And then I'm going to move it to the 123 sample number which is low temperature, low oxygen, and it's upwelling treatment. And then the last one is cold, and it looks like there's only one of them, so that's not going to be good for air bars. And you can't divide by zero. So it's okay. Keep going. Now calculating the standard error, you click on the standard deviation divided by square root of however many samples total. So that would be four. And you have to double check to make sure it matches for each individual one because it might be different. So I am going to just put down, I'm going to count them and then put down the numbers. So in case I want to double check it later, so there are four. 123s, and then there's one of the 124s, and then average, you know how to do that probably. Just average all of them for my graph. And then the same thing, um, make sure it's averaging the right group. So this is the hypoxia group, the 122. This is the upwelling group. And then the last one is just the average of one number, so it'll be the same number, 26.9. Okay, and now I will make a graph. Recommended, works fine. So you're going to add little chart elements, some axes. And then uh, the air bars. Oh, let's see. Because I'm going to be using the standard air, I have to put something for the last one. Okay, I'll put zero. That should work. Okay, um, I'll do another example after this. So go to more air bar options, go down here, go to custom, and then we're going to select our standard error that we calculated. You have to select it for both the positive and negative values. And yay, it worked. So this doesn't have any air bars, it's just one sample. Boo. Okay, saving that because that took a while, and I'm going to do another example, but sped up. So zoom, 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 zoom. Same thing. Putting the numbers so that I know how to calculate the standard error with the square root of the, mum, the number, the total number of samples. And you have to manually change it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Very fast. Okay, now go back to the error bars, slowing it down a bit. 
so that I can talk about them. Custom, specify value, and now we can actually have an arrow bar for everyone. All right, so see how they're all different. If you click on this standard error, it's not the same because it doesn't account for each individual treatment group. Oh, oops. I will undo that. Okay, hopefully this helped.